Peace, 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 y'all. Shock Lamaran, the last and final episode of the Love Session. Excuse me. Let's get right into it. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Amun. Peace to the gods, the goddesses, the queens, and the kings, and the brothers and sisters. Peace. We were just reading the Bible, our uh, last segment, about long-suffering. But this, these two books, I keep telling you how to get, The Woman's Guide to Understand the Black Man and The Black Man's Guide to Understand the Black Woman by Shahzad Ali. Please get these books, please. Stop being ignorant. Stop being lazy. Stop it. Like, I don't care if you got the book and you go, I read it already. It didn't work. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a tip. The reason why it didn't it didn't work when you got the book. If anyone you got the book and they didn't read it, it might not have been you. I'm gonna use the other the other spout first. It might have been the man. See, because if the man ain't ready, if he's not ready for a true commitment, you're wasting your time. You wait for him to grow up mentally, psychologically. Physically, that's not the part you ain't worrying about. Because some of you fall in love because the man has sex with you, and that's what we're going to jump into real quickly. We're going to jump into right at that. Because I was waiting for, for me to dive into the sex part. Listen, sex is a wonderful thing. But some of you are overrated. You're overrated. Because, see, when you in love with that person, your sex level comes by skills. Your sex level comes by skill. I already said it. Anybody can come together and have sex. But the skill level of you trying to please your mate, that becomes upon you. Because in reality, you can get all the women in the world and still not be satisfied. You can get all the men in the world and still not be satisfied. Some women are more sensitive down in the vagina area than others. Some women you can have sex for 20 minutes and it's over with. Some women you're going to put in overtime. I mean, one hour ain't enough. Psychologically, you see, it's not the physical pain, it's psychologically. Because in reality, your body is made to make babies, not to be abused. Why do you think sex wasn't in that in that in, in any one of that scripture that I just put up there? First Corinthians chapter five, no first Corinthians chapter thirteen, verses four through eight, about long suffering love. Had nothing to do with sex. They didn't even bring that up. Sex is part of it. But if you think that sex is your biggest um, weapon or your biggest um, desire, then you're in trouble. Because you can have sex and then 10 minutes later you're talking about, I can't stand your ass. Do I have sex with me? Well, I needed to get off. Let me tell you something. Been there and done that. Been there, done that. Be with women. They sit there, oh, baby, let's make love. And then turn around and say, and then you go, oh, come on, baby, let's hug. I ain't hugging you. I don't want to, I'm not in the mood to hug you. Women don't want to hug you. Why? Because she used you. This is why a lot of times when women want to cheat on a man, they look for the ex. Or they look for her man's friend that she knows she feels comfortable with. Or someone at the job that she's been talking to for a long time, it makes it easier for her to have sleep with him. According to women, men, they don't look at it like that. Men are looking at it in the issues of, oh, I want to have sex with her, period. 
She's so beautiful, I want to have sex with her. He wants to conquer her. Now, what he didn't realize, when you conquered her, so-called conquered, you forgot to tell her you was married. You forgot to tell her you was in this commitment relationship. And now you think she want to hear that you're in a commitment relationship, even though she should have asked you. And she asked you, you probably lied. Oh, no, you know, me and my, my wife, we about to break it up. Listen, I don't even talk to her. So she think it's safe. Sex is not as big as you think it is. Sex gets your ass in trouble. Honestly, sex will get you in trouble. Because most of you cheat here anyway. You already cheat in the mind. Some of you are so selfish-minded, selfish-minded, you believe and you got an answer why you cheat. Hmm? Some of you will sit up there, well, his sex wasn't good. His love making wasn't all that. Listen, I need a man to please me. Well, you know his love making wasn't all that when you, when you first had sex with him. Because you think in your mind sex is everything. It's like a drug. The minute that man put his penis in you, <gasps> you hypnotized. Oh, don't get it twisted. Men, there's some women that sit up there have sex with you, oh, she, she done this to me, and she did fellatio, oh my God, it, it feels so good, oh, she got on top of me, oh my God, I feel like I was in heaven, there's grown men who cry, don't get it twisted, you got grown men who sit up there and cry, they let the tears come out, but they cried inside, told their best friend or somebody close, oh my God, this woman did so wonderful to me, sexually, I mean, I don't think I'm going to leave her alone. Listen to the concept. He don't want to leave her because he had sex with her. And it felt so good. But he don't know she's not a cook. He don't know she don't like cleaning. Same thing for you men. You know, women get caught up in that madness. Girl, how big is this thing? It's not that big. It's about like maybe eight, nine inches. But girl, he not a work it. Oh my God. He's a freak. What you mean he's a freak? What you mean? He's a freak. He done everything to me. He was woke up things I never knew I had. How was he financially? What? Can he cook? Huh? Do he have children? What are you talking about? You ain't think about none of these things. Then you're in this relationship with this man. Four or five years. It's not no commitment. Not at all. It's based on sex. Because love is long suffering. Because I'm going to tell you something quickly. If that man becomes impotent, his penis don't work no more, it doesn't get up and all that stuff, what you going to do? Would you be able to stay with him six months, year, two, three years? He he can't get no 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 he can't get no rise from his penis. What you gonna do when that woman's vagina dries up, or that woman's vagina down there is not working the way it is because she's going through menopause? Her life has changed now. She's lost one of her her, her, her weapons of love that, that that can satisfy her man. That don't work no more. As a matter of fact, what, what you gonna do? You gonna stay with him? See, long suffering, you see. You have, you're not thinking what I'm telling you. Long suffering because sex is not the biggest thing in the relationship. You assume that it is. And if you assume that your relationship is based on sex, you have no relationship. That means you're going to sleep, sleep wherever you want. I'm going to tell you quickly because this, this is the last segment. If you're in a relationship and you've been with that person for a long period of time, if he or she and you're not being abusive towards each other, stay with them. Don't go back looking for your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend, simple fact, because you don't know them. You're really starting all over. If you think you know them, you don't. If you choose to go back with them, it ain't what you think it is, and guess what? You got what you got. If you're in a relationship 5, 10, 15 years, don't look for nothing else. The grass is not green on the other side. Trust me. 
the longer you with your, with your mate, the longer you longer with your husband or your, or your wife, your relationship becomes spiritual. Soulmate, that's where your soulmate comes. Your soulmate becomes towards the end of your life cycle. It's not because your high intensity of lust is so powerful and you go, oh, that's my soulmate. No. Soulmate means you're at the end of your life cycle. You both. And you're about to leave this earth. And you can't have no other but that one. And she feels the same way. No other. That's your soulmate. Not because your high intensity of lust. And that only lasts about two, three years, if that. But your soulmate, even when he or she dies, you can't get no other. And if you do, this means you because you can't be by yourself. Listen, get these books and they'll help you out. I am Chocolate Amara. This is the end of Love Session. Yo. Being in a committed relationship is not the, is one of the greatest things in the world. You will feel confidence beyond your wildest imagination. Peace. <laughs> yeah.